Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Chef Abom, and today we're going to be making some cheesy chicken broccoli rice. Now this is another meal that will only be about 15 bucks and you can feed six people off of that. So yeah, let's get into it and I'll show you a little nice. bit more. So the ingredients are as follows. We got a couple large chicken breasts. I got two and a half cups of basmati rice. This is the uh, longer thin grain. And I'm going to show you how to cook that in case you don't know how to cook your rice. Very simple to do that. Then we have some cheddar cheese. We have some Tostitos. Medium corn queso. And I'll tell you what, this stuff tastes good. So we're using some of that in there. We got our broccoli, one onion, and we're also going to be using a little bit of milk and some butter. And uh, so let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to get our rice going. So Rice is actually pretty simple to make. I know a lot of people don't make rice. They try to bend, they try to buy that uh, fake rice. You know, the, uh, in the box, you can add water and in a second it's ready or whatever it is. But rice is so easy to make. The, uh, the main rule of rice is to rinse it every time. I rinse it about three, four times, even five times sometimes, just to get all that uh, cloudy starchiness out of it. And after that, you basically just wanna have uh, twice as much water as what you have for rice. So two cups of water, four cups of, or excuse me, two cups of rice, four cups of water, and so on and so forth. So we got two and a half cups in here. We're gonna go a little more than that. We're gonna rinse this off first. And I just go right to the water. Let's see how, it, so I'll show you how it's cloudy. Nice and cloudy right there. I'm gonna rinse that like so. Just gonna dump a little bit out. Add a little more. Don't be afraid to get your hand in there. Dump the cloudiness out. You can still see it's how cloudy it is. Just keep going. And sometimes this will take four or five times, like I said. You just want to, you can always put it under a strainer and do it. I just do it in my pot and try not to let any fall out. And the thing with rice is, after we get our water in there, we're going to turn it on high, we're going to add just a pinch of salt, and we're, we're going to cover it, but we're not going to worry about it at all until it starts bubbling, boiling. When it starts bubbling, boiling, we're going to stir it one last time, and cover it again, bring it to a boil, and we're going to wait uh, 15 minutes with it at a low temperature, and we're not going to uncover it at all. And then when that 15 minutes is up we're gonna put it off to the side with the cover on it still for five more minutes uh, and then after the five minutes take your cover off and your rice will be perfect it works every time now since this basmati rice is a little thinner I'm gonna go about 14 minutes rather than 15 just an extra minute just because it'll be done just a little bit sooner but most uh, long grain rice or thicker rice you're gonna need <clears throat> You're gonna need the full 15. So as you can see here, I can just kind of eyeball it, but if you really need to, just get your measuring cup out and do what you gotta do. You're gonna go twice as much water as you have rice. So now that I got the amount of water I want in there, I think I'm gonna dump even a touch more out. We're gonna come right over to the stove. I'll put it on this burner right here. We are gonna turn this on high, like I said. There we go. Let me set the camera down. We're going to turn that on high and then we're going to cover it. Add our pinch of salt. Okay. Now we're going to wait uh, just until this starts bubbling, boiling over. When it does, I'm going to give it one last uh, stir up. And I'll cover it again till the bubbles boils and then I'll put it down to a uh, low heat and then we'll wait 15 minutes when that 15 minutes is up we're just gonna take it off the burner and we'll leave it right here with the cover on wait five more minutes take cover off and it's ready but like I said for this one, all right now I did just put a pot of water on the back that way we got it ready for our broccoli we're just gonna blanch it real quick but first things first we'll just take our broccoli and I'm just going to cut into it like this and take this little bottom part off. 
everything else we're gonna have so and for now I'm not gonna go too wild because see how you get all the little crumbs of it I'm just gonna get it into a couple big pieces that will fit into the pot and uh, when it comes out we'll chop it up a little more but for right now I'm just gonna put this to the side I tin over here and just set it in here until the water's ready and we'll wipe our station here real quick and we'll start with our chicken and just before this chicken gets going I'm just gonna stir this one more time stir the rice one more time make sure it's not sticking on the bottom good looking good we got about a minute or so till that starts going so we're gonna take our chicken breast like so and then we're just gonna get all the meat off and you can always pick up the bone later and if you want to use the bones for some stock or something that's a good thing to do there we go got our breast There's a little bit extra right there we'll take that off why not come back over here and we're going to be taking our skin off too. Okay, and the, as long as it comes off the bone right here, that's all that matters. It don't have to be pretty because we're going to be cutting it all up in small pieces. There we go, a little more. And buying it when it's on the bone is going to save you a lot of money too. I paid. Like a dollar sixty-nine a pound. You can usually find it for that. Even a dollar a pound. So now I'm just taking the fat off and the skin off. I'm just gonna go right down the edge. You got a little piece of bone right there. Take that off as well. A little fat is okay, but the main thing you don't want that that grizzly stuff. Like so. Very good. Now I'm just going to take this, fillet a few pieces, like so. And however you cut this up is fine. It don't have to be fancy. We're just going to go in small pieces. way all right from here we'll take go this way and if you can hear it it's bubbling boiling so at this point what we're gonna do stir it one last time like so cover it back up Make sure it just comes up just a little more. And then we're going to turn it right down to a low heat. And I'm going to set my Alexa. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. Alright, when that goes off. We will take it off, we'll leave the cover on, and even though it's bubbling and boiling a little bit right there, that's okay. Check your heat, make sure it is low, and we wait. And we're back with the chicken. Okay, so I guess I'm actually going to finish with this knife. Just cutting it into strips, and then we're going to cut it into little pieces. What's that? And the pieces, the way they're shaped, don't matter. You just want them all about the same size. That way they cook about the same. And this was just two chicken breasts. Two big old breasts. It's definitely good to have a sharp knife. 
any straight edge knife is going to need to be sharpened every few uses so it's good to invest in a sharpener as well nice deal all right one more piece here all right it sounds like our broccoli uh, water back there is starting to steam up good so now that we're we've gotten our chicken where we need it we're going to come right over here and we set it right here we're going to come to our broccoli and we're going to put our broccoli in and we're just putting this in here for just a couple minutes not not too long at all we're just steaming it pretty much it's not completely full of water blanching there we go cover it again let it come right back up and we'll see that in a couple minutes all right as you can see the steam's coming out it's been going like that for a good minute or so so it's time to come out we're going to put it into the strainer pump it out like so go and for now I'm just gonna stick this just like that and on to cut our onion okay the onion here just a small onion I'm gonna cut the end off here end off here score the first layer and then we're just gonna go ahead and peel that got a garbage right over here I like to throw everything in there we go And we're just going to do a small dice. Same thing with this one. There we go. An onion is great. It just holds flavor everywhere. There's that. And I got a pan nice and hot over there. We're gonna add a little bit of cold oil to it. And then we'll add our onion. Cook the onion down just a touch. Then we're gonna add the chicken. Here we go. Camera all set. We got a little bit of vegetable oil. A little more. Got an onion falling from my glove. Okay, is that that's on high? It started on high. Now, if you wanted to make this dish completely gluten free, um, you wouldn't do the next step, which I'm going to do, which is add just a little flour to the chicken before I add it into there. And. I'm not sure if that corn queso, that might have some kind of gluten in it. So you'd have to just skip the corn queso and only put the cheddar cheese. And then this would be completely gluten free. There we go, if that's something you're into. I'm going to add just a touch of salt. And then I'm going to grab my flour. I have right over here and hopefully not make a huge mess. But I just want to add some flour to this chicken like so I tried not to add too much so that way I wouldn't have to sift it out but we'll see what happens here it might be a little extra I could also got a bigger bowl <laughs> or a bowl rather than a pie crust but we just wanted a, a, over a chicken a little bit and this is going to help hold the cheese sauce to it and all the flavor. Alright, we're almost done. That'll work for now, and we're going to stir this real quick. We got one piece of chicken in there. The onions is looking pretty good. 
There's a couple different ways to make this too. You could even throw in the oven after, bake it with some more cheese on and stuff like that. But we're just gonna mix it right all up when it's done. So a little bit of pepper there, some garlic powder, and I'm gonna do one more pinch of salt. Stir that all together. Now that it's browning up a little bit, Take and add the butter, and we're going to go a half a stick of butter. My hands are a little messy here. There we go. Get that in the pan, melting up. We'll do that so it don't burn that stuff that's on there. There we go. And we're going to come right over here. We're just going to start sprinkling this on. Like so. timer still hasn't gone off so we got a little bit of time with that now I'm just gonna try to make sure this is evenly spread out as much as I can I'm gonna throw a cover on this just for a minute or so and we'll come back and take a look in a second all right our timer just went off for the rice there we go, we're gonna set it to the side just as promised and we're gonna wait five more minutes and then we'll uncover it and it'll be perfect. I'll turn my burner off. We're gonna come back over here as promised and we're gonna take a look at our chicken. Well, she browned up a little faster than I thought, but that's okay. Good little sear is a good thing. And what we're going to do, after this looks like it's almost seared all the way around, we are going to add some cheddar cheese, a little bit of milk. It's already got flour on the chicken, so it's going to thicken just a little bit. We're going to turn this down also, too. We're going to now put this at like about halfway of your temperature, medium temperature, a little below medium even. Because we've already got... A little bit of stuff starting to cake up on the pan there. I don't want it to burn when it comes time to put the cheese in there. There we go. Just like so. Temperature's down. Now let's add our cheese. I got about a, a cup and a half of cheese. Just like so. like this. We'll see what that does. Let's cover it up again guys, let it steam, and we'll be back in a couple minutes to check it. And while that chicken and cheese is doing its thing, we're going to take our broccoli now, cut it down into some smaller pieces. I washed the table earlier. Make sure whenever you got chicken on there, you wash it good. Sanitize. Like I said, nice small pieces. You want it to be throughout the whole thing. We'll bring it right over. Just the 
camera the way I need it here real quick. See our chicken and cheese, everything's starting to melt together. Now we're going to stir this up. Just like so, and like I said, this is on like a, a medium heat. I'm going to turn it just a little lower now. And I'm going to add the broccoli. And now the good part. I love this stuff. Tostitos corn queso. If I can get the top off, holy crow. Let's see. Top is off. I'm gonna start by adding some. And I don't think I'll need the whole thing. We're just gonna go about halfway like that. Put the rest in the fridge. Stir this up. Oh. Just like so, mix it all together. Now you don't have to worry about that chicken being all the way cooked really because it's going to do its thing like it when it was covered and stuff. It did its thing. Well we are going to add a little more cheese. It's okay. Hands a little messy. Uh oh, we're losing pieces. And now our five minute mark is up for our rice. Taking the cover off our rice. We have some beautiful rice. I can tell that's going to be perfect. Mix this just a little more. The main thing you just really want to mix this good before we cover it again this last time. We're going to cover it again for another three, four minutes, probably four minutes. And then we're going to bring all this stuff together and I'll show you when it's ready. All right, guys, we're at our three, four minute mark here. We're going to add just a touch more salt. A little more pepper. Not too much pepper this time. Then we're going to mix all that together. And then we're going to head over to our rice, which is on the cutting board table, and we're going to mix it all up together. Let's go. Here we go. Get the camera right. Here we go. We're going to start we're getting our bowl right here. Let's see, like so. Take our rice, scrape our rice in. There we go, and in the bottom you might get a little bit of brown rice like that, but that's okay. Add right to it. Here comes the chicken. Just like so, and you can tell we didn't burn our cheese sauce it turned out perfect we're gonna take and mix make sure you mix it really good that way it covers all the rice And here it is guys, our cheesy chicken broccoli rice. It is absolutely delicious. And I hope you enjoyed the whole video and watched all the way through and decided to try this for yourself. Maybe you made it before, maybe you made it different. Who knows? But as you can see here for $15, I've got plenty of food to feed it six people or an army on top of that. This is just a ton of food and there's stuff left over. So it probably really didn't even cost me that much. And, uh, and, th and this is what you get, a nice dinner that's going to fill you up, fill everybody up, and they're going to love it. All right, guys. 
And I just want to thank you guys again for sticking around to the end and watching the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll make it for yourself. And most importantly, I hope you like and subscribe and watch some more of my videos. All right. Thanks, guys.